Clearly, we just aren't aware. But uh, when you go to the temple or to synagogue for Purim, you're part of it. It, it, it it's ab absolutely interactive. You are not allowed to just not be a part. Mm -hmm. So to see it, to feel it, to be brought back, I'm sure it brought back memories. It's, uh, it's just been a delight. And I will tell you more as we go along, but tonight is very different. I'm not up here to teach as I usually do, but uh, we are going to travel back in time. If you came prepared, you read the Megillah, you read the book uh, that we call Esther Hadassah. You read the scroll and you'll know what, what's going on, but if you have not, that's okay. You're going to know it by the end. <laughs> and when we see it in living color in this way, I think it takes on more of a meaning. And there is a meaning here. Bruce has started to allude to that meaning. Our song, One Night with a King. Our comment, One Moment with a King. Yes, there's a lot of meaning to this. So. Uh, we'll look at that, we'll come back to that at the end, but we're going to travel way back in time. We're going to go back past your grandparents. We're going to go back past your great-grandparents and your great-great-grandparents, and we're going to keep going, and we're going to keep going, we're going to keep going. And we come to a time back about five centuries B.C. in time. This is when Ahasuerus was the king of Persia. This is the time that Hadassah was in the kingdom. Famous sentence that comes out that, that God had put her in the kingdom for such a time as this. But this is our story. And as I said, we're doing it the way that they do it in the synagogue, the, the way they do it in the temple. So we have those who are ready to participate. We already know who Hamon is. And um, we'll, there we go. We've got some educated people in the audience. Yay. Okay. <laughs> now the trick is to remember you use those only to boo and hiss. That's the right out. The name. Come on. When we say the name. Come on. <laughs> now, when we want to honor the star, that's Mordechai. Yay! Yay! No daughters, no noisemakers. That's our, our voices lifting up hurrahs and hoorays. And those who like to, we found a way to even honor Hadassah. And that's with us. Aww. Aww. <laughs> so if you keep all those in mind, I know that we have those that are just ready to, to tell you the story in a whole new way. So I need to pass out, not me pass out, but pass <laughs> out our papers. <laughs> I need my king, King Hashbaras. Where is my king? King Hachavaris, who wants to be the king? Oh, I thought we had picked out already. Well, yeah. Okay, well then, gentlemen, somebody who doesn't have a part, we need someone. We get to read right off the script. Maybe the king is on the throne. Maybe the king is on the throne. Oh. <laughs> Zora, are you willing? Yay, okay. You'll, you'll read the highlighted parts when it's time. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. English is not his first language. If I gave it to him in what, Serbian? Give it to Jim. Oh, you don't have the glasses. Hey, okay. Give it to Jim. Jim. You just became king. King Jim. Okay. Then I don't know where your crown is, but we'll find that. And we have a small, small part, with which is Queen Vashti. Small part. She's no, no, on and she's <laughs> off and she doesn't even have to say a word. Any volunteer? I need a queen. Quick, short queen. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes. It's all very easy, so no worries. Okay. I am looking for one who is going to be a wise man. He's going to be a servant. He's going to be the chamberlain. And he can do all three parts because they're so small. So I just need, usually it's a, it's a gentleman, but I've been known to put women into that role when I don't have men who volunteer. Okay, I've got a Dave over here. 
Okay. And then I think I've had Hadassah already. Am I right? Do I have a Hadassah? Yes. Hadassah. Our star? Yes. Hadassah, where she goes? There she is. There she is. Okay. Hadassah. There you go. Okay. And I think we have a Mordechai already. Yes. Yay. 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 And our last part is now I will ask you if you have a part, please read it loud, stand up, act it out, be a part of it, Ooh. and the rest of you keep in mind. We help them by carrying them along, by the hurrahs and the boos and the ahs. <laughs> so we will just simply start and then we'll explain a little more in the end if we need to, but we'll tie it up. <coughs> a long time ago, over 2,000 years ago, in a land called Persia, in the capital city called Shushan, ruled by a king by the name of Ahasuerus, well, his rule was extensive. He ruled over 127 provinces from India all the way to Ethiopia. And as our story opens, King Ahasuerus has been enjoying a feast. He's ordered all of his princes, his servants, and his people to be there. And after a week of feasting, and that means reveling, <laughs> a drunken king orders. Bring me Vashti, the queen that she may parade among my people for all to see her great beauty. To which, and where did my Vashti go? There she is, to which she refused to succumb. I've never had a better Vashti. <laughs> well, anger burned within the king. Are you angry, king? Anger burned within our king. And after consulting with his wise men, so Mr. Wise Man, come over and consult with our king. King, go meet your wise men. I'm going to get you on your feet. I'm going to get you interacting. Yes. King, go meet your wise men. You've got to figure out what to do with this. So what's the decision that came out of their consulting together is that he had Vashti banished from the kingdom. So that all the women of the kingdom would fear denying any order or dealing contemptuously with their husbands as had Vashti with him. So she's banished, she's departing. <laughs> well, soon the king realized the value Vashti was to him. And again, after consulting with his wise man, he appointed officers who were sent throughout the land to gather together all the fair young virgins under Shushan to the palace, to the house of the women, to be placed in the custody of Haggai, the king's chamberlain, who was the keeper of the women. Where did my chamberlain go? That's you. You're the keeper, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can get, catch a few women and start keeping them if you'd like. <laughs> 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 we'll see how much of a kosher lamb he is. <laughs> well, after a year of training and beauty treatments, the king would choose the maiden who pleased him the most to be queen instead of Ashti. And the king thought, Hmm, I like this idea of a beauty pageant, so that I may choose the fairest woman of the land to be my bride. It's good to be king. <laughs> out to every province in the kingdom that the most beautiful of all the young maidens were to be brought to the palace to via for the king's affections. They need not bring anything. All things would be provided for them. It is at this time we're introduced to Hadassah. Aww. And Mordechai. Yay! Her near relative who had been raising Hadassah Aww. as his own daughter for her Aww. parents were dead. Now Mordecai yay! and 
Dawson. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, true. We're Jewish. Seventy years prior to this time, the Jews had been driven out of Israel, their homeland, and were exiled in Persia. This occurred when Jeconiah, king of Judah, had been exiled by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, which is in the land of Persia. He deported over 10,000 Jews to Babylon. Therefore, there were Jews living in the lands of King Ahasuerus, whose predecessor was Nebuchadnezzar. Although the Jewish people did their best to make a living in this foreign land, they prayed that someday they would be able to return to their homeland, the land of Israel. Among these Jewish people, Mordechai was a leader. Our story picks up as Mordechai gives guidance to Hadassah because she leaves him to go and live in the king's palace. Go, my dear one. May it be well with you. I will come by the court of the women's house every day to see how you do and what shall become of you. My only words of advice are not to reveal your Jewishness, for that may not bode well for you. I will adhere to your advice and obey your word just as always. I will not reveal my nationality, and I will try to make you proud of me. I thank you for all you have done for me. May God be with you. You have already made me proud, my dear one. Just let your inner beauty shine as much as your outer beauty does. It will be well with you. Now go, my dear. So it was that Hadassah came to live under Haggai. One of you needs to get to the other. <laughs> Who immediately was pleased with her, thus bestowing kindnesses upon her. He saw to it that she was prepared with the best of the ointments and perfumes and gave her the best living quarters along with other amenities. It was said of Hadassah Aww. that she obtained favor in the sight of all who looked upon her. So it was that Hadassah Aww. was taken unto the king. Chamberlain, go take her. Bring her to the king. Oh. Chamberlain. Oh. Why is that David. servant? You're fired. It's good to be king, right? You may not want to yet. Let him bring the first. I'll spot parts with him. Yeah. <laughs> you think he can handle Simone? <laughs> Uh, for it is written that the king loved Hadassah above all the women, Aww. and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown. Do we have what I had when I could have brought a separate one? Do we have a, a, a spare one handy? For what? A crown. We need a crown. For, for who? For Hadassah. She has a crown. She has a crown. She has a crown. Well, I should have looked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we use our imagination. King, pretend to put the crown on Hadassah. <laughs> Jim? Oh, there we go. Crown her. Crown her. Oh, I wanted to move it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be king. There we go. And he made her queen. In the days following Mordecai, would sit in the king's gate, as he always came to be busy in the king's governmental business. During this time, by God's grace, Mordechai was positioned to overhear two of the king's chamberlains who were being angry with the king and were plotting to take his life. <coughs> Mordecai quickly told Hadassah, Aww. who told the king, <clears throat> and when the matter was investigated and found out to be true, the two men were incarcerated and eliminated. That is, they were hanged on a tree. For history's sake, the details of the event were recorded in the Chronicles of the King. After these things, King Hoshverus promoted a man named Hamon. <laughs> Thank you.
into a position of great authority above all the princes of his kingdom. Come on. His time is coming. He was an Agagite, that is to say, a descendant of a god whom Saul had permitted to live when he conquered the Agagites many years earlier in direct disobedience to the god to God's command. Now, Hamon. <laughs> like Prime Minister, preyed upon the king's good graces and had the king set forth a command for all to do obeisance to Hamo. <laughs> Thus, they went through, when he went through the king's gate, having the image of an idol fastened to his clothes, all the king's subjects were to bow down to worship him and the idol of his choice, which all of the king's subjects did. So you're all out there bowing, whether I see it or not. <laughs> except all except yeah. godly Mordechai. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, why is it that you will not bow down to Haman? <laughs> As all others do. I will not bow down to Haman. <laughs> And Jews only bow down to the one true and living God. Yay. Yay. Upon learning of this, Ramon <laughs> was full of anger. How dare he not bow down to me? <laughs> Am I not his superior? <laughs> 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 And if this be true of all the Jews, then perish the race. Oh. I will rid this entire kingdom of I don't know what that name is. <laughs> of all the Jews, they will be destroyed throughout the entire land. Mordecai Yay! and even all of Mordecai! Yay! <laughs> to your sir. Come, let us cast pure. That is the lot to determine when we shall carry out our plans to annihilate the Jewish race. Then we shall see what will happen to those who do not respect me. I will have the last word. <laughs> From the first month in Nisan until the twelfth month of Dar, they cast the purr and developed the evil plot. Thus it was at Hamon. <laughs> came before the king in the guise of appealing to the king's pride in order to win him over to Hamon. Plot <laughs> to destroy all the Jews throughout the entire kingdom on the 13th day of the 12th month of O oh, king, ask for us. There are a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed throughout all the provinces of thy kingdom. Their laws are different from all other people, nor do they keep the king's laws. It is not in the king's best interest to let them remain, nor to tolerate them, for they are traitors. If it pleases the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. Whoa. Then to sweeten the desire of the king to follow this trap that Haman was in. And I will pay 10,000 talents of silver to the king's treasuries. Haman. Having appealed to the king's pride and lust for wealth won him over. So the king took the ring from his hand. <laughs> I, I thought I should have brought my props out. I didn't think it had been. King give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me. Give, 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 give him a ring. Give him a ring. And not a tell, not a tell. I'll take the crown. <laughs> 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 you 
can just pretend. You just, I want the crown. You, you, <laughs> there you go. There's a ring. King, give the ring. <laughs> oh, well, he's got it. Ring. Okay. Good move on, King. He gave it to Hamon. The silver is given to you, the people also, to do with them whatever seemed to be good to you. Thus, the edict went forth throughout all the provinces of the entire kingdom. Hear ye, hear ye! On the thirteenth day of the twelfth month of Adar, in one day, all Jews are to be destroyed, to be killed, to perish. Both young and old, little children and women and their property is to be taken as a spoil. All people are to make ready for that day. Letters went out with haste by the king's commandment, and the decree was given in Shushan the palace. Then the king and Hamon <laughs> sat down to drink while the city was in perplexity. What shall become of the Jewish race? When Mordechai Yay! learned of the heinous plot to annihilate him and all his people, he cried out, Oy vey! <laughs> now don't do this part, but he tore his clothes <laughs> and put on sackcloth with ashes. This was the Jewish custom for one in mourning. And he went out into the center of the city, as none could enter into the king's gate clothed in sackcloth. True in every province, wherever the king's decree came, it was the great mourning among the Jews followed by fasting, weeping, and wailing. Many also put on sackcloth and ashes. Soon Hadassah's maids and chamberlains came and they told it to her. After Hadassah had sent clean clothes to Mordechai to change and come to her, and he refused, she sent one of the king's chamberlains to learn from him what it is and why it was that he was doing so. I'm here, Mordecai. Yay! 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 On behalf of Queen Hadassah. Aww. Aww. She was I can't. Oh, <laughs> no, I have to. I'm sorry. This is good. Please tell, what has you so grieved? The Mordecai. Yay! Yay! told him of the entire plot and the sum of money that Ramon <laughs> promised to pay to the king's treasuries for the Jews to destroy them. He also gave a copy of the decree that was given at Shushan to show Hadassah <laughs> and to charge her to go into the king and make supplication to him to plea for her people. Upon receiving this disparaging news, Hadassah Aww. replied, All the king's servants and all the people of the king's provinces know that whoever, man or woman, who comes into the king's inner court, who has not been called, there is one law that he or she shall be put to death, except the king hold out the golden scepter to him that he shall live. But I have not been called to the king for thirty days. The Chamberlain quickly returned to Mordechai Yay! with these words from the Queen. <laughs> tell, tell Hadassah, don't think that you will escape more than any of the other Jews just because you are in the King's palace. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance will come from another source. But you and your father's house will be destroyed, and who knows? But what you were brought into the king's palace for such a time as this. Yeah. Oh, Upon hearing these words, realizing the lives of all the Jews depended on her response, Hadassah oh. Oh. told the chamberlain to return to Mordechai Yay. 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 with her answer. Go, gather all the Jews who live in Shushan and fast for me. Neither eat nor drink for three days, both night and day. I also will fast and my maidens likewise with me. 
then I will go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I die, I die. So Mordecai went forth and did what was requested. On the third day, no, third day. Third day. on the third day, Hadassah, Aww. dressed in her royal apparel, Ooh. went and stood in the inner court of the king's house. At that time, the king was sitting upon his royal throne in the royal house across from the gate of his house. And when the king saw the queen, she obtained favor in his eyes, and he held out the golden scepter that was in his hand and said, what do you want, Queen Hadassah? Aww. Aww. What is your request? And it shall be given to you, even up to half of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. If it pleases the king, let the king and Haman come this day to a banquet that I have prepared for him. Dear servant, go and get... Haman, and come to hurry up so that he may do as Hadassah has <laughs> So the king and Hamon uh. came to the banquet Hadassah. Prepared, where the king again prevailed upon Hadassah Aww. to tell him of her request, repeating that anything would be granted to her up to half of the kingdom. Mm. Hadassah replied, Aww. If I have found favor in the sight of the king, if it pleases the king to grant me my petition and to perform my request, let the king and Haman <laughs> come to the banquet that I will prepare for them tomorrow. Then Hamon <laughs> left with a glad heart, feeling so honored. But upon seeing Mordecai Yay! in the king's gate, Woo. and that he did not bow down or reverence him, Hamon, you should have passed by. <laughs> <laughs> Hamon was again filled with indignation and wrath against Mordecai. Yay! However, he restrained himself from acting upon his wrath. Upon telling of the rewards bestowed upon him by the king and queen to his wife and friends, he revealed that he was robbed of all their joy by the sight of Mordecai, a Jew, sitting in the king's gate, to which Hamon replied that he should build a gallows 50 cubits high, uh -huh. and tomorrow speak to the king about hanging Mordecai yeah. on those gallows. They're waiting for you. <laughs> then afterwards, the king and he could go happily into the banquet of the queen. This thought greatly pleased Hamon. Yeah. And he commanded the gallows to be built. That night, being unable to sleep, King Hashverus called for the reading of the records of the Chronicles. As they were read to the king, he heard of the record of Mordecai's Yay! revealing of the plot to kill the king by two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door. To which the king replied to his servant, <laughs> <laughs> what honor and dignity has been given to Mordecai Yay! Yay! for this great act? <coughs> There's been nothing done for him. About this time, Hamon <laughs> He's doing himself. <laughs> He came into the outer court of the king's house to speak to him about hanging Mordecai Yay! on the gallows that he had prepared for him. When Hamon came to the king, the king asked, What should be done to honor the man who the king delights in? Now Hamon the king would delight in honoring no man more than he himself, so he replied, For the man whom the king desires to honor, bring in the royal apparel that the king wears, 
and the horse which the king rides upon, and the royal crown which is upon the king's head. Gimme, 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 gimme! <laughs> and let them array the man with the royal robe and put the crown upon his head and put him upon the horse. And then lead the horse out into the street of the city and proclaim before him that this is to be done to the man who the king delights to honor. Come on! <laughs> Quickly, come and take the apparel and the horse and do as you have said for Mordecai. Yay! 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 You, who sits at the king's gate, let not one thing fail of all that you have spoken to do. So come on. Was forced to act upon his own words and do homage to Mordecai. Yay! And he left Mordecai Yay! at the king's gate, but went home to bemoan and mourn over the acts he had been forced to perform to Mordecai. Yay! Upon hearing, his wife and friends responded that if Mordecai, Yay! before whom Chai had begun to fall, if Mordecai Yay! was of the seed of the Jews, then it would it would yet surely fall before him. But while as they were talking, the king's chamberlains came and hurried Hamon <laughs> off to join the king at the bequest of I'm sorry, the banquet Hadassah had prepared. And at the banquet, the king again repeated the words to Hadassah. Aww. Aww. What is your request, Queen Hadassah? Aww. Aww. And it will be given to you, mm -hmm. even up to half of my kingdom. Mm -hmm. If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given to me on my petition, and my people on my request. If we are sold, I and my people to be destroyed, to be slain, and to perish. If we had been sold to slave, male and female, I would have remained silent. Our trouble would not have been worth the damage it would have caused for the king to alter this situation. Furious, the king replies. Who is he? And where is he who would presume in his heart to do so? <laughs> is this wicked Haman? <laughs> The king arose from the banquet, stormed out into the palace garden, being filled with wrath. Hamon stood up to make a request to his, for his life to Hadassah, Aww. the queen. Gotta go back. <laughs> for he saw that evil was determined upon him by the king while pleading for his life with Queen Hadassah. He fell upon the couch where she was. Oh, and at that moment, Let's the king. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we'll keep it G rated here. <laughs> at that moment, the king returned from the palace garden and upon seeing Hamon. <laughs> also before me in the house? Then spoke up one of the chamberlains and attendants to the king. Behold the gallows, 75 feet high, which Haman come on oh. Oh. For Mordecai, yeah. who has spoken good for the king, <laughs> yeah. stands in Haman. Oh. Oh. And the king replied, Hang the
prepared for Mordecai. Yay! And the king's wrath was pacified. Woo! On that day, too, the king gave the house of Haman to the Jews and me to Hadassah, Yay! the queen, and Mordecai. Yay! It was brought before the king as Hadassah. Oh. Had now told the king of their relationship. The king took the ring which he had taken from Hamon. Give your ring up, dead man. <laughs> There's the ring. He took the ring which he had taken from Hamon. And he gave it to Mordecai. And said, Mordecai. For the house of Hamon. <laughs> Hadassah, falling at, his, falling at his feet and beseeching with tears, spoke again to the king. If it pleases the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seemed right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letters to find by Haman. <laughs> The Jews who are all in the king's provinces. But how can I endure to see the evil that will come upon my people? Or how can I stand to see the destruction of my kindred? Then the king replied to Hadassah Aww. and to Mordechai. Yay! Yay! To the both of you, you know I have given Hadassah the Aww. house of David. Oh. Yay! Yay! And he has been hung on the gallows. Yay! Yay! Because he laid his hand upon the Jews. Now write you concerning the Jews as it pleases you in the king's name and seal it in the king's ring for what is written in the king's name and seal with the king's ring. No man must reverse. So the king's scribes were called to write a new decree on the 30, 23rd day of the third month, Sivan. On the 13th day of Adar, the Jews who were in every city were granted to gather together and to defend their lives, yeah. to destroy and to slay, to cause to perish all who would assault them, including little ones and women, and to take their enemies' properties for a spoil. Yeah. This new decree was sent out on horseback by camels, by young dromedaries, by mules, to all the deputies and to the governors, to all the province, princes of the provinces from India to Ethiopia all 127 provinces to every people in their own language and to the Jews according to their writing and language. All that was commanded by Mordecai Yay! and all that was written in the name of King Hoshverus and sealed with the king's ring. As the original decree put forth by the king when he was deceived by Chahamon <laughs> <laughs> could not be reversed <laughs> as it carried the king's name and had his seal upon it this decree was set forth to put fear in the eyes of any who might have designs to try to fulfill the first decree so Mordecai Yay! went out from the presence of the king arrayed in a royal apparel of blue and white with a great crown of gold upon his head and all the city of Shushan rejoiced and was glad Yay! The Jews were freed of their burden and were filled with gladness and joy and honor. To whatever city or province the decree went, the Jews had joy and gladness, a feast and a good day. Even many of the people of the land became Jewish in their religious beliefs, for the fear of the Jews was upon them. So in the twelfth month Adar on the thirteenth I'm sorry, twelfth month Adar on the thirteenth day, when the king's commandment and his decree drew near the fear of the Jews and Mordechai fell upon the people and the governors and the princes and the deputies and the officers of the king helped the Jews to defend themselves. Amen. Thus the Jews killed all their enemies. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the sword and it utterly destroyed them as they originally had supposed to do to the Jews. In Shushan, the palace, they destroyed 500 men and the 10 cents of Hamon were also slain. 
that the Jews did not take their spoil. In other provinces, on the 14th day of Adar, 75,000 were slain. But here, too, the Jews laid not their hands on the spoil. The, then the Jews rested, and they made it a day of feasting and gladness. And Mordecai Yay! wrote these things and sent letters into all the Jews in all the provinces of the king, both near and far, to establish this among them, that they keep these days yearly as days of feasting and joy, yes. sending portions to one another and gifts to the poor as these days the Jews rested from their enemies and their sorrow was turned to joy mm -hmm. and their mourning into a good day. Yes. To do this day, these they call these days Purim, after the name Pur, as their enemy had cast Pur, that is the lot, to consume and destroy them. But when Hadassah went before the king, the wicked plot was exploited, and the events turned from their destruction to the destruction of the enemy instead. Yes. Yes. So the Jews ordained that they would not fail to keep these two days according to the time appointed every year. Further, they commanded that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation, every family, every province, and every city. Amen. Both Mordechai Yay! and Hadassah Aww. wrote letters confirming Purim and sent the letters out to all the 127 provinces of the kingdom of Ahasuerus <laughs> and the decree that Hadassah confirmed that uh, these matters of Purim were written in one book the book which bears her name to this day, the book of Hadassah. Mordecai's Yay! deeds too, as well as his greatness, were written in the book of the King's Chronicles, and Mordecai was second only to the king and accepted by the multitude of his brethren, for whom he sought the welfare of his people and spoke peace, or shalom, to all his seed. My dear servant, why is this man Haman lying here snoring? <laughs> come on, come forward. You should do the work. You're not God. You need some help. I need some help. <laughs> you gave it your whole heart and your whole body. And you didn't hear him say he actually got stuck in the the. Come on, you're choking me up. We'll give you the star for the best. Come on. Yes. So next, next year, I'm not doing it. Aww. All these other guys now know they can bring it. <laughs> so. You've heard the words. Yes. Chris could be Haman. Yes. <laughs> You've heard the words. It is. The Emmy goes to Tom. Emmy. <laughs> Oh, the, the Golden Glow. Oscar. Oh, golden Glow. Whatever. 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 Ah. I don't the award. The award. How about uh, the That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> We're what? all the same. The we'll give you a hamantashen <laughs> in reward. <laughs> what is a hamantashen? <laughs> you notice here. that Hamon's hat is yes. like three cornered. Right there. But yeah. actually from the German it really is more Haman's ears. Hamon's ears. It's a <laughs> commentation or pocket. Yeah. So depending on who you listen to, because you know three Jews, four opinions, <laughs> you're either referring to the pockets that were stuffed with bride money, or you're referring to his wicked hat, or and I hate to tell you this part, but the enemies when they fought 
the victors often would cut the ears off of yeah. their enemies. Yeah. So the idea behind this is this is a sweet treat to eat up Hamon. You get to eat him up and get rid of him. It is joyful, so it has to be delicious. So we have Hamantash on the table for you. It is a, a German Yiddish word that means, like I say, either Haman's pockets or Haman's ears or Haman's hat, whichever, whoever's tradition you're under. <laughs> And we know that Israel is celebrating starting sundown uh, tomorrow evening, which for us is tomorrow day. So if yeah. you think about this in the daytime, you will know you just got a little head start from Israel. But I want to give you, in closing, real quickly, a new way to spell Purim. It's spelled in our English P-U-R-I-M. The P tells us that we have a promise-keeping God. Amen. God who made covenant, cut mm -hmm. covenant, with his people and promise there would never be an end to Israel. Hallelujah. The U stands for a unique people who are in a unique position and have a unique relationship with the R, our royal king. And it was a royal rescue. Anyone who thinks this could have just happened, Mordecai could have just happened to overhear what he heard. Hadassah, a good little mm. Jewish girl in the midst of a Persian empire could be queen? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. And as Mordechai said, for such a time, time as this. Is. Because she was brought there by whom? By God. God. We yeah. know this to be true. When we come to the I, it can stand for nothing else than the invisible hand yeah. of God yeah. at work. Because if you go home and you read Esther now, Read from beginning to end, and how many times will you find the word God in this scroll? Zero. Zero. But no one can argue. It was the invisible hand of God working yes. behind the scenes, indescribable, and glorifying unto him, and to his keeping his word, because this was a time that would have ended the Jewish race. No Jewish race no Messiah's birth, because this is prior to Messiah's birth. No Messiah's birth, no salvation for anyone. Mm -hmm. That I could also be a question, and I could ask you, is Mashiach working in your life? Is Messiah real to you? Our Jewish people went from a fast to a feast. What a difference. What a difference. Mashiach is the answer and i will tell you sadly and seriously this is not the end of the story god said all the way back in Shemot, that every generation would have yes. trouble with the malachites the agagites malachites are one group of the same and god said every generation that he would deal with them when we look at israel's history we see the spirit of the amalek there. This is the one that Saul did not kill. He kept the king alive, which he was not supposed to do, and Haman was a direct descendant from that line. We see it in modern time with a Hitler, but I sadly have to take you to today, yes. and we see it yes. and call it out. Yes. No matter what lies are on the news, no matter what you hear around you, the spirit of Amalek to wipe out the Jew yes. Yes. is alive in Hamas yes. Yes. today. Yes. 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 This is why Israel cannot stop no. and can't no. sit down no. and make peace no. No. with one who has no, no. no. intent no. 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 to make peace, no. No. but every intent to, to annihilate the Jewish people from this <coughs> earth. Just as it wouldn't have been just in Shushan, it would have been in 127 provinces, the known world of that time, that every Jew would have been put to death. It means that Janet and Janet and myself and whoever else is Jewish in this room would not be safe. Hamas would not stop with Israel. When they get yep. done with Israel, yep. who they call the little Satan, then they yes. go after the U.S. called the big Satan. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't believe that that spirit is in this land today, too, <laughs> yeah. it is. It and is. if you do nothing, you're missing that who knows but what God brought you 
to the kingdom for such a time as this. And ask God what you can do. Speak up against it. Speak out. Be informed and inform others. Silence is not golden. And the attacks are getting worse. They're against little ones and they're against the elderly. As Hamas came into Israel's land and destroyed, slaughtered people in their homes, these were innocent people. They were not, in fact, some of them were actually peace activists that lost their lives that day. This was not provoked by Israel. Yeah, that's right. But they are hated for no other reason than that they are Jewish. Jewish. Yes. Right, exactly. This is the spirit that has to be stopped. Yeah. And yeah. here is where I bring you back to Mashiach. Because as Mashiach Messiah, God himself, kept his hand on the, the Jewish people in Hadassah's day. And in Hitler's time. He will with Hamas also. Sadly, yes, we have innocent people and of both sides that lose their lives because that is what happens in war. Yeah. But uh, there's never been a people that have tried so hard to keep the innocent from being That's destroyed right. in yes. their attacks. Yes. Never else. I can give you evidence after evidence. Yes. But God said he will deal with them. Right. And I look to see God bring this in some way at some time to a victory for yeah. Israel. Amen. Maybe yeah. not a big party feast celebration, but at least a stop to Amen. this known terrorist. Amen. But there is another one coming. And that's what's so heartbreaking. But God has told us he's given it to us in the book of Revelation. We read. That one called Antichrist, against Christ, the man of sin, is also <coughs> going to rise up with that same spirit. And he's also going to be controlled by Satan. And his intent, once again, is to wipe every Jew off the face of the map. This is what is coming, but it's not the final chapter. I have read the end of the story. And I give you the spoiler alert. I don't care if you want it or not, you're getting it. Because I will not stop in defeat. I will stop with our Messiah, our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords, coming back in second coming, in glory, in power, in righteousness. And he is going to come, and with the sword out of his mouth, which is his word, he is going to annihilate the Antichrist and all the enemies who have come against Israel, all there together to destroy Israel, and they will go down in defeat. Because Messiah said so. Because God is a covenant-keeping God. And because he has given us the final chapter. That we say hallelujah. hallelujah. Our concern now, though, is for our Israel and for Jews everywhere to not hear this story and go home and forget it or think, well, that happened in the past, but look at us now. But they need to cry out to their God. They need, as we did coming out of Egypt, and you'll hear that with Pesach, Passover, in just a few days, uh, less than a month. They need to cry out to their God. They need to turn to Him so that He can redeem them and save them. And how does this apply to all of you? I have beloved Gentiles in this room. God has made promises to you also. And He has a wonderful plan for you too. But if you're not listening to Him, if your ears are not open, then you don't know the greatest joy that you can know on this earth. And that is to know your Creator personally. To have Him inhabit you. To have Him as your guide. To have Him as your help in time of need. This is not just promised to the Jewish people. It's promised to everyone who will come to saving faith in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, who died on the cross rose from the dead on that third day, and in that abundant, powerful life, being fully God, is able to give that life to any and all who will come to Him. If you know it, rejoice and praise Him that you got it. And if you don't know it, open your heart. Just tell Him, I want that. I need that. He is there to help you. I, all of us who know it can attest, it doesn't matter what you're facing, what trial, what tribulation, whether it's as bad as a chamon, or whether it's something a lot less, but he is there with the answers. And all the answers are there in his word that he's given you to freely pick up 
and read. Mm -hmm. And then, as we've seen tonight, be in obedience to his word that he can bless. Mm -hmm. That's our God. Mm -hmm. So when we, we spell out Purim, we remember our promise-keeping God to a unique people who have a unique relationship and we who are believers, some grafted in and some from the original, but who've come in are also in a unique relationship that we have a royal king and that makes us royalty. That's why you're wearing crowns tonight because we're all in the royal family and you will see the invisible hand of God move in behalf of your life. The key is... What are you doing with Messiah? Have you opened your heart to him? Are you walking with him? Are you listening to him? Because this plot, this plan, this victory could not have just happened. It happened by the hand of God. And that hand is here today. So open up, follow, praise him, rejoice, hallelujah. We're going to have a feast, and I hope that each of you will be at the Millennial Feast. When yeah. Messiah returns, yeah. we will have a great feast, yeah. and that will go on forever. Yeah. With no yeah. 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 around. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Janet. Yeah. And thank you again, all of my, this was great. <laughs> you, you all get the Emmys, the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs>